Thinking about dropping your PhD plans? Then drop your plans immediately if you're looking for a career into teaching. Because as per the new government regulation, a PhD degree is mandatory for university teacher posts from 2021. A doctoral degree is not just a passport to a world of research and new knowledge, but it is also a valuable asset that increases one's chances of earning higher paid and more satisfying jobs. It is an investment, a certificate of one's special abilities that can give them an advantage on the job market. A PhD is a foundation that can lead to the publishing of papers, awarding of grants and other kinds of recognition by your peers. So far, at the entry level, the minimum eligibility requirement for an assistant professor was that they should have cleared the national eligibility test and have a master's degree. But now, according to a draft policy document obtained by the Hindustan Times, a PhD will be a must for teaching at university level from the year 2021 onwards, even for assistant professors, which is the entry level designation for instructors in universities. According to the chairman of the Pay Review Commission for the 7th Central Pay Commission and the current chairman of National Assessment and Accreditation Council, V.S. Chauhan, NET as the minimum eligibility criteria is important for a diverse country because there are so many different subjects. Further, teachers will undergo a mandatory one-month-long induction program before starting work and will also have to devote two hours to mentor students for extracurricular activities. Apart from new qualification and eligibility criteria for teachers, UGC is also planning to introduce the academic performance indicator and will also introduce simplified evaluation grading system to make the process easier. Also the promotions of the associate professor will be on the basis of teaching metrics, whereas in universities it will be on the basis of research and teaching. The 7th Pay Commission had recommended that PhD should be the minimum eligibility for recruitment at universities. After much consideration, it was decided that it should be applicable from 2021. Let's accept it. Doing a PhD can be intellectually challenging, physically tiring and emotionally draining. But why a PhD? Why should anyone do a PhD? And is it worth the effort? Let's find out. A PhD degree is the most valuable asset that an aspiring academician can have. PhD research will help to improve your abilities to understand and solve problems increase your confidence, make yourself a better communicator, and gain skills that may lead to a better job, even in many fields apart from academics. A doctoral degree provides career and professional opportunities in a wide array of institutions and industries, from academia and education administration to consulting and non-profit work, the career services offices across campus will no doubt help you explore your options. But to get there requires you to go the extra mile. And here are some pointers to point you in the right direction. Take a breather. Understand the differences between the constituent of your undergraduate and chosen PhD program. The goal is not to complete an assigned set of courses as in an undergraduate program but to develop significant and original research in your area of expertise. At the end of your PhD program, you will be judged on your research not on how well you did in the courses. Grades are not critical as long as you maintain the minimum GPA requirement and you should not spend too much time on courses at the expense of research projects. Your current area of study does not necessarily have to influence your PhD subject. You might be studying the function and regulation of membrane proteins or doing a computational analysis of antibody, but that doesn't mean your PhD project must revolve around similar projects. The transition between college or another research job to a PhD program is one of the main transitions in your life when it is perfectly acceptable to completely change research areas. Make sure the PhD program has a variety of research options and learn about as many research groups as possible in your first year. Even if you believe you are committed to one research area, you may find that 5 years of such work is not quite what you expected. As such, you should find a PhD program where the professors are not all working in the same narrowly focused research area. Make sure there are at least three professors working on an array of topics you could imagine yourself working on. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Biotechnica's channel. You can also comment below about your views in this new education system. Will it help or it won't?